Hello, I'm Paul Richards, and in this video, we're going to show you how to create a multi-camera live streaming event with just a couple cameras, a computer, and a few other accessories. So, this video is brought to you by PTZ Optics. This is the very beginning of our live streaming setup. We got the two cameras here and a joystick, an external monitor, a computer in here with all the audio, our drone, our pop-up tent, which we're going to pop up, and then an eight-foot table. So this is the very start of our setup. Today, I'm going to show you how with just a couple cameras, a computer running Wirecast, you can easily get your live event streaming to the internet with yeah. ease. The setup I'm about to show you is a simple way to stream to YouTube Live, Facebook, or Ustream. And we're going to use a local festival, which is a music concert called Pretty Good Fest, to show you a practical example of how to live stream a concert. The setup that we're using here consists of two pan tilt zoom cameras. We have a 12x USB and a 20x USB. We have a focus right USB mixer, which allows me to take two XLR or two quarter inch audio inputs from our mixing board to get the whole band into a USB connection into our laptop. We have a RS-232 analog joystick to control both cameras where we can uh, change uh, presets yeah, and do different things. And then we just have a Dell laptop uh, here where we're going to be running Wirecast and streaming okay, to yeah, YouTube we'll Live. Like, that. So that's yeah. basically everything. We've got an external yeah. monitor no, so that we can uh, have a nice there. big okay. preview of the, well, uh, the live stream. Music going. It's really all and other than that, we have um, a network connection. We've got a nice big long uh, network connection so we can run this to the closest um, Ethernet port where we can get internet access. And then we have cascade cable. So what this allows us to do is to plug the first camera into the RS-232 joystick, and then the cascade cable goes from the first camera to the second camera so we can control two or more cameras from a single joystick. As you can see here, we've connected both cameras via USB 3.0 to my computer, which allows us to bring in the video feed into Wirecast. Um, and right now we're just kind of tweaking and testing everything. We have camera control of both cameras here. So uh, just by hitting camera one, I can control camera one here. And then two, I can control camera two. So that's how I do my two camera switching and fading and uh, picture in picture areas. Um, just a little trick here, if you hit preset 95, that's gonna bring up our on-screen display menu. And what that allows us to do is start tweaking the colors and different things, because every setup's different, especially for outdoors. So we go in here, and I was just playing around with the imaging and the contrast and the sharpness just to get the perfect shot um, before the concert starts. So for this setup, we have two PTZ cameras set up about 25 to 50 feet away from the stage. Uh, we have a 20X and a 12X. And as you can see here for the video, I'm just taking USB 3.0. Uh, we do have an HDMI port I can use with my confidence monitor. Um, you can see we have RS-232 in and out. So that allows us to control the first camera and then pass control to the second camera. PTZ cameras are becoming increasingly uh, popular for shooting live events. They allow a single operator to capture multiple viewpoints with a single uh, joystick like we have set up here. Controlling the cameras uh, for a live concert could not be easier with a joystick controller such as this. We can control iris, uh, we can control zoom, we can control the focus, and we can obviously switch between multiple cameras. Now for larger or permanently installed situations, you might want to consider our IP joystick, which can control cameras. We have a joystick that can control right over the network. But for mobile setups like this, where you're just going out and you don't have a network, the uh, hardwired analog RS-232 is probably your best bet. Plus it's more affordable. Now that our video is all set up and operational, we need to handle the audio. One of the most important tips for live streaming is gaining access to a dual channel audio stream from uh, the mixing board. So what we have here is a dual channel right and left audio feed coming from the mixing board, uh, two quarter inch, a right and a left, into our mixer, which is converting it to USB so that we can plug this into our computer and have a high quality audio board coming into Wirecast for our live stream. 
Hi everybody, I'm here with Tom Worthington, who is our audio guy. One of the most important tips about live streaming a concert, or a band, or a church, or even sports, is to make friends with the audio guy. Tom, tell us a little bit about your setup that you have here. Well, my job is to give the video guy a good feed. My job is also to make the band louder. So, to do that, I'm bringing each of the different signal sources into this mixer. They come through each of these strips, and these are the faders that control their volume. It goes around and around, it comes out here, and it goes up to an amplifier on stage and to the speakers. These are the two outputs going over to the video right and left stereo. The most important thing about doing sound, besides having good music wheel, is the right amount of gain into the board. Because if you don't have the gain high enough on these signals, you're just going to be amplifying the noise. So you're going to strong it the signal as you can without um, distorting, and that way you're uh, amplifying you know, pure sound. So uh, we'll see how it goes. So now that we have our video set up and our audio set up, we're ready to start live streaming. As you can see here, we have a kind of a, some o uh, overlays and lower thirds. I have what I call my jam cam here, so that I have a pick, kind of a picture-in-picture -picture setup, so I can zoom into the guitarist as he's doing his solo, but still have a wide shot of the band here. So we're ready to start live streaming. So we're going to take our RTMP information for YouTube, plug it in, and start streaming. Now during the live stream, we may actually record small snippets. For example, a guitar solo, or maybe a shot of the crowd. And then we take those recorded snippets and we can actually use them as B-roll in between a band. So as a band changes and we need to have uh, some video content in between, we can take those little recordings and turn them into a playlist for B-roll content. So we're ready to start live streaming. So thank you for watching this video. Um, PTZ Optics cameras are available with USB, HDSDI, HDMI, and IP streaming. Uh, we're using USB in this setup, but if you have long cable runs where they're 100, 200 feet, you might want to consider our HDSDI models. The HDSDI models start at $15.99, and the camera line goes all the way up to $17.99. You guys can watch this video on our YouTube channel. I hope you guys subscribe, and you can learn more at ptzoptics.com. Thanks for watching, everybody.